Hello, everybody. My name is Nadej Grigliermoni, and I am a postdoc at the University of Cologne. And today I will talk about reference genomes and comparative genomics of two giant earthworms from the family Ormogastridae. So we will focus on a, a group of invertebrates, Annelida, uh, which are segmented worms, and they live in uh, marine fresh water and uh, terrestrial environments. Uh, in Annelida, there is a group in particular, which, which is Clitellata, and uh, this includes Iridinea with leeches and Oligocheta with potworms and earthworms. And so in Oligocheta, uh, there is a family of uh, uh, giant earthworms, which, are, uh, which is a family of Ormogastridae. And uh, these giant earthworms are distributed all around the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, apart from their very large size for worms, uh, they can also go through estivation uh, during the hottest months uh, of the year, uh, which after the summers that we've just had, I, I do envy. And here you can see uh, one species of uh, these earthworms, which is Norana nejaformis. And uh, you can see how big the worms are. And they uh, make uh, galleries in the ground. And these galleries are used then for plant roots. So they are key actors in soil activity. So in Clitellata, there are very few chromosome level genome assemblies available so far, uh, like Acinia andrei, uh, Metaphyra vulgaris, Amintes corticis. And here we contribute two chromosome level assemblies for the family Hormogastridae with Carpetania metritensis and Norana nejaformis. So for these assemblies, I used a, a genome assembly pipeline that was very similar uh, for, for uh, the two species. Uh, the only difference is that uh, for Ecarpitania metritensis, uh, we used PacBio CLR, and for Norana nejaformis, PacBio HiFi. So the long reads uh, were assembled using next de novo. Uh, then I purged the haplotics with purge jobs, uh, scaffolded using high series with Instagrail. I did gap filling with TGS gap closer. And then I polished with hypo using the Illumina reads or, and the PacBio reads or the PacBio HiFi reads. So here are the final assemblies uh, with, uh, for Carpetania metritensis, an assembly size of 588 megabases, and for Nor Norana nejaformis, 608 megabases. Both have uh, 17 chromosome level scaffolds with a reasonable amount of gaps and uh, uh, very high Busco scores with very few duplications. So here you can see uh, the assembly of Norana nejaformis and its chemer plot. Uh, so there are two peaks. Uh, this peak is for homozygous chemers, and this one is for heterozygous chemers. And we want to have homozygous chemers in only one copy in uh, collapse assemblies. And uh, for heterozygous chemers, only a part of them can be represented in a collapse assembly. So part of them are missing uh, here, and part of them are in 1x. So this is basically what we would uh, expect for a chemer plot of a collapse assembly. And here in the high C contact map, uh, we can see squares of heightened interactions, which are the chromosomes, and we can see the 17 chromosome level uh, scaffolds. For Carpetania metritensis, it's not as clear as for Norana. Uh, here, the homozygous peak is likely around here and uh, mostly in 1x. And for the heterozygous peak, we have part of it in 1x and part of it in 0x. So that's still what we're expecting. And uh, in the high C contact map, we can see the 17 chromosome level scaffolds. Uh, so now we annotated the two assemblies and uh, 
Uh, for the repetitions, we found uh, 41 to 46 percent of repetitions, so very similar between the two species. And for the annotated genes, you can see that they are way less for Carpitania uh, than for Norana, and, but also the Busco score is lower. So don't go imagining that there's any gene loss, uh, drastic gene loss going on. It's just likely that the annotation is not good enough. And so we've already generated new RNA-seq to improve the annotation. And now when we compare uh, the, two, uh, the two genomes uh, and the different chromosomes uh, using Synteny, uh, we can see that there are mostly one-to-one -one correspondences between the chromosomes. Uh, the only thing is that for uh, here, we have uh, two chromosomes of Norana that are merged in one chromosome in Carpetania and two chromosomes of Carpetania that are merged in Norana. So then I uh, compared with another genome of uh, the group Clitellata, which is Metaphere vulgaris. And uh, the assembly size is uh, not pr pretty close to the ones of uh, Norana and Carpetania. Uh, but the number of uh, chromosomes is way higher. And here you can see on the high contact map, the 41 chromosome level scaffolds. So then when we look at uh, the comparison between the chromosomes of Carpetania and Metaphere vulgaris, you can see that there are way more rearrangements going on than what we had between uh, Carpetania and Norana. And here with Norana against Metaphere, it's also way more messy. So what we want to do for future work is to reannotate uh, the genes. As I've said, we've already generated a uh, new RNA sec for this. And then we want to analyze the uh, content in transposable elements and investigate the genes that are involved in estivation and then run comparative genomics in earthworms and annelids. So these are the people and the funding bodies that contributed to this project. And uh, thank you for your attention.